Hi hi friends, you might be wondering why I have this big jar here and that's because today we are bringing kombucha So for that you need a couple things uh, First you need water, I've taken a couple notes here So it says uh, three and a half quarts of water So in real units that means uh, 3.3 liters And then you're gonna want sugar and black tea and uh, then you need a scoby, which is this weird thing here. It's like some kind of uh, of mushroom bacteria thingy, I think. And uh, it's gonna allow to ferment the kombucha. My friend Dame was uh, kind enough to give one to me. So it's nice when your friends give you scobies. Uh, sounds kind of dirty. But anyways, this IKEA pot actually gives me quartz, so it's gonna be useful for this. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare the sugar. So it's uh, one cup. Pretty good. And for the tea, I'm gonna use uh, orange peco. So I need eight bags of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. The water is now boiling, so I'm gonna put it aside and add the sugar and the tea. And then you need to let it sit until it cools down, so it can take a couple hours. So I'll see you then. So this is actually taking quite a while to cool down. What you can do is put it in an ice bath like this and supposedly that gets it to cool down faster. I mean, obviously it will. So it finally cooled down. Now I'm gonna be able to remove the tea bags and then add the starter tea and the scoby. So that's the scoby and it comes with a starter tea which is basically just previous batch of kombucha. I guess I can just dump it in there carefully. Well, that's basically all I have, so it's exactly two cups. This thing is kind of weird and slimy, which I guess it's meant to. It's a bit less than two cups, but hopefully that's gonna be good enough. I don't, I don't have a choice at that point. Once it's stirred in, all I need to do is transfer to the to that jar. Looks pretty clean. Hopefully that I do that without making a mess. I'm making a mess. Oh man. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> weird, weird thing. Alright, come on. Just slide it in. And then it's just like supposed to kind of float like this. The last thing is gonna be to put some kind of uh, cheese clothes or whatever, like you could use paper towels or something. I'm gonna use cheese clothes and then uh, an elastic to keep it in place. I guess that's pretty good. And I have this little elastic over here. Probably I need to make two turns. Two turns is gonna be pretty fucking tight. Oh man, is there a technique for this? Like halfway double elastic? Ah, it might just slide through. Or maybe it's just gonna explode. Pretty soon. Ah, it's good. Looks pretty nice. So as you can see, it's all nice and clean. I even cleaned up in between the oven and this thing because I'm this kind of maniac. And uh, now I need to let this ferment for 10 days, I think. Seven to 10 days. So they say it's better to do it in a dark room. So I'm gonna do that right now. I leave it there right next to the Bruzilla. Uh, I have a video coming soon on that, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, I'll make an update when uh, it's done fermenting.
Yo, 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 so the kombucha have been uh, fermenting for a week now. You can see it's uh, right here. And uh, today I'm wearing my Dildo Brewery shirt because I was brewing recently. Uh, so it's been fermenting for actually a bit more than a week now, I think more like 9 or 10 days. Uh, normally you're supposed to taste it after 7 days every day so that when you like it you can bottle it. Uh, I didn't do that because I like to live dangerously I guess. So today we're bottling I got here 6 swing top bottles which is gonna be way enough for this quantity I think. And then I've got everything for labeling as well so I can mark it and uh, not uh, mistake it for the beers I already have in the fridge. Uh, and that's about it. So the process is supposedly very simple. I'm gonna remove the top from that, uh, take the little scoby out that we can see here. And then since I'm the proud owner of uh, auto siphon, I'm gonna be able to siphon it into the bottles. You don't actually need uh, an auto siphon for doing that. You can just pour through a funnel, it just works. I just find that auto siphons are a lot of fun. I'm gonna put the GoPro on so you have a better idea of what I'm doing. And uh, first I'm gonna get a bowl here to put the scoby in. All right, oh, kind of went down there. Uh, then they say with clean hands, you can take the scoby, so I'm gonna clean my hands, actually. Looks, ugh, I don't want to touch that. It's weird, it's like not, it's not a scoby, there's like a weird, weird thing on top, I don't even know if I should keep that. Oh, maybe that's a baby scoby because it's supposed to like duplicate kind of thing. Oh, I don't know. It feels like it's not moved, but it's kind of floating there. Oh, gross. So maybe that's a baby scoby and it's gonna keep growing, and you can you can make more and more kombucha with that. Oh man. Oh. All right. This time I'm managing to not make a big mess, so that's great. And this needs about uh, two cups to uh, stay alive, so, uh, so I'm gonna gather that right now. Uh, let's measure about two cups in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Very good so far. So that's gonna be for the next one. I'm not gonna make one a new one today. Uh, I want to taste the first one first. And if it tastes good, I'm gonna make more. So how that's gonna work, I'm gonna get all the balls really close to it. And we can just auto siphon. So the way the auto siphon works is basically where well, it's a siphon, but instead of like having to suck at the end of the tube to get it started, you can just pump and uh, it just works, so that's great. And it's, uh, it's pretty clean right now. And uh, we have this little thing here that should allow me to uh, stop the flow so I don't make a big mess. And then you just pump and it's gonna start. You can see how it's uh, pumping liquid already and when I push it's gonna create pressure or like a depression, I guess. And then it's gonna start flowing all the way. You can see that going right now. Maybe this thing should be higher also. Maybe that's, yeah. There's a reason we usually boil it down is because it needs to be higher. So I'm gonna put all the balls on the floor and you can see it's already starting actually. It's, I don't even have to do anything. So now, wait with it. Yeah, I started to make a mess. It's fine. Oh my God. All right. And now I managed to stop it with that. So I control the flow a bit. It's actually the first time I do this, so usually Damien does it. Can we even see anything on the camera? I'm gonna maybe adjust the camera a tiny bit. Oh yeah, we can see shit. All right. This auto siphon is really, really nice. All right. I'm gonna try to incline that a bit. Whoa, shit. Made a mess. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, that's mostly a success. I guess it can just hang here while I try and clean up a bit. Yeah, absolutely. And now we can just put the swing tops. Finally, for the last step, I'm gonna put the stickers on. Hey, 
And that's it for today. I'll see you in a couple days for the actual testing. Cheers. A couple days have passed, so this means it's tasting day. I'm excited. Let's pour a big pot. Mmm. Fresh. Crisp. You know, I'm not a big kombucha drinker yet but this tastes exactly like I would expect a plain kombucha to taste. No surprise at all. I'm the kind of guy who adds fruit to beer, but not to my kombucha. Uh, so it doesn't taste like I added any fruit, obviously, but I mean, what did, what did I expect? <laughs> it's good, I really like it. I'm happy with that. Anyways, it's great though, because one gallon of kombucha makes six bottles, which is, I think, what I'm gonna drink per week. And it takes a week to ferment, so you can just keep it rolling. Every time you bottle, you make a new batch, and you have an infinite supply of kombucha. Which sounds like a pretty nice thing to me. I like that idea. I'll try to add fruit next time. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite fruits to add in kombucha, what fruits you want me to try. Maybe something like a bit unusual or unexpected. I'm interested in trying these kind of things. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting or fun, or both. Maybe it inspired you to make kombucha at home as well. If you liked it, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more content like this. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Rapide efficace, mon gars. Finally, for the last step, I'm gonna put the stickers on. Not stickers, étiquettes. Quand tu dis étiquettes, mon gars Je suis vraiment en train de shooter une vidéo en 4K, moi qui euh, essuie des bouteilles.